Yeah, what up, luck? Let's show them how to get this money. Looking like it, we smelling like it. You did. Gotta cap that money, let it double up. We are the ones that be flipping that moolah. Gotta stack them bugs. I am the mask and the gaps all at work. Popping the seal and pulling that perp. Popping the perp while smoking that perp. Y'all already know I'ma put in that work and hit it with a hurts with the left, right, left, right. Out of sight, yeah, we out of mind. And you know that it's going down. Every time that we on the grind, yeah, we back in the trap. I am the real, you niggas is whack. How in the hell do you figure that you can fuck with me without holding a bag? Better get your money. Don't think it's funny. Pull up in that AMG with a bass, no bunny. Get to the mool all about the cash. Rolling with bass and smoking that gas with luck in the drop top lag. Count up them stacks. We awesome. Get you a whole one, show me the check. They mention my name, they mention the best. I came in the game and put on the rest. Butter sauce, I drip. Don't make me empty my clip. Got 40 cal on my hip. She gon' catch me if I slip. I'm a hustle for my daughters and my sons. Had a lot of homeboys when I was young. These days can't trust no one. Can't go to sleep without my gun. Niggas hate when you really getting cake. Don't wanna see you drifting Drake. Mad when they heard you beat your case. Rather see you still broke, no brace. Straight lace, no chase, I'm raw. That's how you wreck a bike, dog. That's how we crash that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's how we crash that shit. And we back. We've been dealing with a sick baby over here, and I don't know if y'all ever dealt with a sick baby, but it ain't what's up. It's gonna be all right, little buddy. Houston been crying and coughing. Right, Houston. When I was at the studio, baby made me some homemade chato beans. So the beans are done and ready to go. My favorite. They're hot, hot, because I let them boil, baby. All right, I'm gonna eat these beans, and then we're gonna Go mail these shirts and hoodies to y'all, man. It's sunny today. Make sure you stay positive at all times. Don't let any negative thoughts poison your mind. And always remember to show love. Go do something with your day today. On the window. Oh. All right, so we're out and about. I'm so excited. We're gonna let y'all know what we're gonna be doing today for y'all's vlog. And I can't wait. <laughs> this thing is set at ITS. <laughs> so if you don't already follow us, make sure you go ahead and follow him at It's Lucky Baby. Yeah. And make sure you go ahead and follow me at Asia underscore Stay True. I gotta tell y'all what's going on. What's going on? So, <laughs> about to record this QA, and Lucky really got up to go get his shades. Like, Man, I wanna was, put my glasses on. Wait, I like, can't wear my glasses. Like, if he was at a real interview, just trying to be like. This is how I feel. This is how I feel. I don't like answering questions, man. You know what I'm saying? Call my lawyer. I don't wanna talk. That's why I don't do interviews, because I don't like answering questions. So earlier today we got on the Instagram and said we're gonna have a Q&A so people sent us questions. We can't answer everybody's question because we got too many questions that y'all asked and we'll be here all day. So we picked like 10 questions each to answer. You wanna go first? Okay, number one. What motivated you as a youngster coming up? Uh, you motivated me to be a rapper? Well, uh... Uh, it wasn't money. I think I just liked to rap a lot when I was young more than I do now So when I was young, I would rap all the time just chilling. I would rap I was like me and my homeboys would always rap until the first time someone paid me to feature on a album Then I took it serious and knew I'd get paid to do it at first It was just the passion and the love for rapping freestyling flowing off top of the head So that's how I went about that situation and then I caught the ear of somebody who was in the music business and wanted to put me on an album and they gave me a check and I never stopped that's crazy okay my question any relationship advice um, from now Evelyn I guess you're gonna go through whatever you go through in every relationship it doesn't matter who you're with you're gonna go through your ups, your downs. It's really just up to you whether you're strong enough to deal with the downs um, and ride it out together. But if it's not for you, it's not for you. So don't start trying to hold on to something that's not healthy. But if you find yourself happy and glowing and growing every day, 
then I mean, keep shooting for the stars, right? <laughs> Good I don't answer, know. baby. Good answer, bravo. Okay, question number three. How long have y'all been together from at Texas underscore love? So we've been together, what, three years? But it feels like way longer to me. I don't know about you. Yes, baby, I feel like I know you my whole life. <laughs> no, I'm serious. And I think it's like that because since the day we met, we were like inseparable. We would always hang out. You remember that? Yep. <laughs> he was low-key FaceTiming, make sure I was at home. <laughs> number three. It's number four. Oh, number four. <laughs> How'd you hook up with Mr. Cap How did you hook up with High Power and Mr. Capone from at Bugged Out 831? I think back in like 2006 or something like that, me and him had the same publicist. And she, um, told me that he was looking, trying to, um, I guess, branch off into the Texas market. So, um, I sold him a couple albums, you know what I'm saying? We went and did a, a little tour around, um, where did we go? Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, and we've done some shows to promote those albums. And uh, that was it. But shout out to Capone and High Power, everybody out there. Salute, much love to y'all. Okay, question number five. It says, I love you guys. Do you plan on having more kids from at J Jesse1813? Um, I don't want no more. Oh. I think we got enough kids, man. We don't need no more kids. He says, if the good Lord wants me to have 10 kids, baby girl, we gonna have 10 kids. That's right. How do you deal with writer's block or when you can't think of something to say? Man, I always got something to say. My mouth like a something seen Uzi. You know what I'm saying? It's coming at you 90 miles an hour, man. You better watch out. You know what I'm talking about, man? Nah, I don't get writer's block. I hear about people in the studio saying, I got writer's block, can't come up with something to say, but... Man, I get inspired by by the check, by the money that what is whatever I say coming out of my mouth, nine times out of ten, someone's paying me to say that. So I get inspired by that check. So yeah, I don't get writer's block. Okay, moving on to the next question. How do you stay positive and maintain it? Love you guys. From at Halo dot N S H T X. What does that mean? Northside Houston, Texas? Yeah. Um, how do you stay positive and maintain it? I don't, I don't even know how she stay I positive. I don't know. I think I just naturally like wake up and feel blessed. I, you know what? I do know because I feel like back then I would always complain about my situation and how this, I wish this was different and that was different. But I think I started changing my mentality when Carla passed away. Um, and for y'all that don't know who Carla is. I have her name tatted on my face. Everybody's always asking, what's on your face, what's on your face? Carla, um, that was my best friend. But when she died, it kind of like opened my eyes. I was a little lost for a couple months, but once I got myself together, I realized that life is beautiful and you know, it could be worse. I've been in some rough situations in my past and I'm only 24. So I don't know, I just wake up feeling blessed. I know that. I don't have it that bad, so I try to, I just like good vibes, man. Like, I like to live, you, you're you alive another day, you know what I'm saying? So turn up. Yeah. So I just count my blessings, that's how I keep positive. What is the sweetest thing you've done for Kelly Jean? I think giving her her uh, little baby boy that she always wanted, <laughs> giving her her engagement ring, uh, I don't know. I do sweet things for you every day, baby. What you mean? <laughs> I think the sweetest thing that you ever done. I feel like what I find it being the sweetest is like when it's unexpected. Like whenever, like he does little things. Like in the morning, sometimes he'd be out doing his errands and then he comes back with like a coffee that I like. Oh, like this morning, I brought her a coffee. And it's something so little, but like he, he, it just has meaning to it. So I think that's what I like the most. Oh my God, okay, so a lot of y'all asked me this question. This was the infamous question in this Q&A. What? When is the wedding? You wanna tell them or you want me to tell them? June 27th, man, you know what I'm saying? It's the H-Town <laughs> celebration. It's only right we do it on June 27th. We're gonna vlog it live. 
live stream the event, pay per view, hold up, baby. Honestly, I haven't, like, I already know how I want my wedding to be, and I already know everything that I want. Can we get Johnny Paycheck on iTunes? Um, Johnny Paycheck does not belong to me. That was an album that I sold. My partner in Dallas from Houston on the record store, Pat from Latin One Stop. He bought that album from me, from me. Sort of like what Mr. Capone did with the other albums that I was telling y'all about. There's people that that just, uh, you know, if they like a rapper, they'll approach the rapper and be like, yo, make an album and I'm gonna buy this album from you and then I'm gonna sell it or do whatever I want with it, it'll be mine. So, Johnny Paycheck and uh, the ones I did with Mr. Capone, I think those are like the only ones that I've done that, but that I saw. I learned from those albums not to do that shit again, cause you know what I'm saying? You, they, you get a fat check in the beginning, but in the long run, it's better to own your master so that way you can continue getting paid off it. Moving on, will y'all be having a big wedding? And then this question was from at Michelle Sanchez 03. Um, I honestly don't know because every time I tell him, to I mean, I really don't want to spend a whole bunch of money, but I don't want my I want my shit to be legit. You know what I'm so I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be classy, turn, and as long as we have fun. Honestly, I just want to have fun and enjoy our day and make it special. So I really we don't know yet. It's gonna be lit. <laughs> Where does the name Lucky Luciano come from? Uh, well, the original person, it comes from the mob boss, Lucky Luciano, from New York. But how did I start calling myself that? <clears throat> I don't know how, when I started calling myself Luciano, but from like a long time ago when I was a teenager, that was just my nickname was Lucky. Now, when I started rapping, on my very first album, it didn't say Lucky Luciano, it just said Lucky, because that was my rap name at the very beginning, was Lucky. But then... I think when I got around Dope House, they, that's when, uh, I think on the Follow My Lead song, I did the first song I did with SPM, I said Luciano on that verse. So people started calling me Luciano. When they would see me, they'd be like, Luciano or Lucky Luciano, and it stuck after that. So then when I released my next album, you already know, it said Lucky Luciano on the top. That's how it came about. All right, so the next question for me is from at Leila underscore Rojas. And she asked, is he the jealous type? Are you the jealous type, babe? Hell yeah, don't look at no Look at the ground. Don't When you walk in the place, you got to look at the ground. She might be able to tell you what kind of shoes you got on, but she ain't going to be able to tell you what you look like. You know what I'm He is very jealous. He doesn't like some of the things that I wear. He is like very... I don't even like what you're wearing right now. Um, Showing all, them damn, all, all that damn skin. He just, he loves me, so I mean, he's not rude. He doesn't make me look to the floor. Even though he wishes he had me on check like that, he doesn't. <laughs> but I love him too, so I wouldn't disrespect him like that. But he is the jealous type, so. Would you let me design some gear for you? Yeah, I let people design gear for me. As a matter of fact, this shirt right here, my partner in uh, Dallas designed this for me. And he made him. You got a burp? Damn. You. <laughs> I just ate like two bags of Cheetos, man. Right? Hold up, baby. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to design something for us, go ahead. You can uh, email your images to luckybookings at gmail.com. Luckybookings at gmail.com. Okay, next question for me is, y'all probably been together for years. My question is, how do y'all make it worth it so that y'all can last? And this question is from at the real hot boy Sonic. Oh, we got too much invested for it not to last. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, to me, I see it as it's worth it because not only do we have a child together, but all these other children, they, they're our children. We're raising them, so it's just... It's and like, I ain't trying to be on child support. You ever heard of saying it's cheaper to keep her? I would not put <laughs> you on child support, first of all. Um, That's what they all say. Whatever, but um, yeah, so... Not only because of the kids, but I mean, I love him. I, of course, I wouldn't want to be with somebody if it was like not worth it. But you know, I love him and I know he loves me. So, will you and this is from Anthony Cantu eight? Will you and Burner four one five ever make a collaboration CD? Well, 
those of y'all that don't know, I've been knowing Burner for a long time. And Burner and I already done a collaboration CD. Burner paid me to do an album before he even blew up. But then he blew up and was like, fuck, I don't need this album with Lucky. <laughs> so shit, you know what I'm saying? He got it. I don't know if he ever gonna put it out, but we got an album already done. You know what I'm saying? We already did a collaboration album. Okay, so my next question is, what is the biggest change Lucky has made since he's been with you? I think since we've been together, he's worked on like opening up because I feel like he was like really like, I don't want to hear what you got to say. It's what I got to say. And that is not true. Yeah. And then since, since we've been together, you grew to understand and try. I always been understanding, baby. Nah, man. Lucky, are you still cool with Chingo Blaine? That the Molly King pin. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's my boy, man. Me and Chingo go back way, way back since before Chingo. I know Chingo Bling before he was even Chingo Bling. You know what I'm saying? I met Chingo Bling when he was DJ Biz. He, he was a DJ at a college radio station, and he was uh, doing an interview with me for his radio show he had on that college radio station. And that's how I met him. He was DJ Biz. And then he told me that he had a little character that he would do on his radio show where he acted like, you know, Chingo Bling, where he would put foil in his mouth and, you know, dress, put the cowboy hat on the boots and he would rap like, sort of like H-Town style, but in Spanish and like funny, like, anyway, he was trying to explain the shit to me and I was like, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. And he was like, he ended up staying like close by to where I stayed. Uh, so he said, uh, I'm gonna come to your house and show you. And I was like, I bet. So he knocked on my door one day, and this nigga had a cowboy hat on with a do rag <laughs> and some glasses and a big ass fake chain with some foil in his mouth. And I fucking laughed so damn hard. <laughs> and I was like, man, you crazy. And, and me and my cousin was like, man, if you go, we told him, if he goes to the store dressed like that, that uh, I think I told him I'd give him like $50 or something, if he went to the store dressed like that to the Kroger and bought us some beer dressed like that. And that nigga That's did it. Hilarious. And I gave him $50. That was probably his first first appearance, man. You know what I'm saying? I paid him to do his first appearance <laughs> as Kingo Blake, man. Right? You know oh what I'm saying? So yeah, man, we'll forever be cool. You know, when you just grow up and y'all, you got your own lives together. When we was all young, we started out making our mixtapes together, me and Chingo Bling, in my little one bedroom duplex in Second Ward. And, but once you, come up, you know what I'm saying, then you go on about your life, so you're, you know what I'm saying, we was all trying to come up and make a name for ourselves, and then we did everything we wanted to do, you know what I'm saying, we, we, everything we started trying to do, we did it, you know what I'm saying, so, and then we go on about our lives, we got kids now, families, our own families, oh, so, I know. we really yeah. just, just cause you don't talk to, you know what I'm saying, your homeboy, your, we're like family, you know what I'm saying? You don't talk to your family all the time, but you know what I'm saying? It don't mean that y'all ain't cool. So yeah, we'll forever be cool. Kelly Jean, you're so relatable, humble, and easy to like. What is your zodiac sign and Lucky's too? I'm an Aquarius. First of all, thank you so much. My zodiac sign, I'm an Aquarius. And Lucky's a Taurus. I'm a Taurus. But yeah, I'm an Aquarius, shout out to I'm my Aquarius gang out there. Gang, gang, gang. And I'm a Taurus. You already told them that. <laughs> a hard head. How do you go about getting into the rap game? This is easy. It's easy to get into the rap game. You turn your damn phone on. If you got an Instagram, turn your Instagram on and start rapping to the shit. And if you type, people going to see you on Instagram rapping and they're going to reshare your shit and you're going to get a lot of followers and a lot of likes and you can make a name for yourself on your phone or on YouTube right now. When I was coming up, we didn't have none of that shit. You had to get out there and go hard in the paint in the streets, make a name for yourself. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have all this shit. So now y'all little young motherfuckers got it way easier than we did. So y'all shouldn't do no complaining. Easy to get into the rap game nowadays. You build a following for yourself, make a name for yourself on your phone. And remember to stay true to yourself. Don't get lost in the sauce. Yeah. Do I still got my eyeball piece and chain? Yes, I got my eyeball piece and chain. The thing is, Miss Kelly Jean here thinks I look ridiculous when I put it around my neck and I go out and pull it with this big old chain, so she don't like me to wear it. She says it just... Less is more. We already draw a lot of attention and I, I feel like when he puts it on, it's like drawing a little too much attention when you could just throw on a little... And you gotta chain. understand, I got that chain probably like 
2012, 11, a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? I was in a whole different mindset when I got that chain. So, you know, it's just, I don't feel like, when I put that chain on, when I got it back then, I was like, I buy, I want to tell the world I buy, you know what I'm saying? But right now, at the age I'm at right now, I don't feel like that no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm, that's just not how I'm feeling right now. You know what I'm saying? So like, play that back. Play that back. <laughs> so that's why I really don't wear it. But yeah, I got it. You know what I'm saying? I might send Kingston to school in it one day. All right. Well, this is gonna wrap up our Q and A. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope we answered y'all questions. Um, we really appreciate y'all. If you make sure you like, subscribe, reshare the video. Hey, uh, I want to give a shout. Out. Who you want to give a shout out to? Oh, I want to give a shout out to Emiliano Prado because he said he's watching us all the way from Sweden. OMG, can you believe it? Like Sweden, where is that even at? That's in the Swiss Alps. I don't know where that's at. I know it's overseas though, so that's much love to you. Thank you for supporting us and watching us. And I want to give a shout out to Ass White. <laughs> No, that's his Literally. name on YouTube, man. But he, you know what I'm saying? He's a fan and he's always commenting on our videos. So shout out to you, ass wipe. <laughs>